So how often am I catcalled? Um, pretty often. Often enough that I think it's cool when I go outside and I'm not catcalled. In Northampton area, I'm not really harassed too much on the streets. I, I do occasionally get a comment about my tattoo because I have a chest tattoo, um, but generally I don't get too many catcalls in the Northampton area. Um, more often I get men driving by in cars yelling stuff out the window at me than people actually on the streets yelling at me. Sometimes it'll be like a period of two weeks or a month where it feels like it's every day and then during the winter it feels like I don't even see it, especially around Northampton. It, I've noticed that for me when I am in school I don't notice it as much. In Northampton it really depends on the time of night and on if I'm with other people because if I'm like you know, in a ratty t-shirt and some torn up jeans, no one's gonna catcall me. But if I'm with like my two beautiful friends and we're all walking down the street having a good time, we get catcalled a lot. I initially, I'm like, oh, that's kind of flattering. Someone, you know, finds me attractive or whatever. But then I think about it a little further and it kind of makes me feel like a piece of meat and makes me feel kind of gross. I think whenever people shout or say inappropriate things to me or my friends, um, I'm mostly angry and just filled with that. Um, but there have been other situations where I've felt completely unsafe. When I'm yelled at on the street, usually I, uh, my first reaction is, I guess fear. I never, it always takes me a minute to realize they're catcalling me and not that like someone has been hit by a car or somebody needs my help, you know? So I always look around like, who said that? Like, who needs help? And then I realize that somebody is yelling gross things at me, and then I usually put my head down and walk fast. My reaction depends on the mood I'm in. Half of the time I walk quicker, keep my head down, and try to ignore it while I feel <laughs> really uncomfortable. Other times I'll shout back, shut up, or uh, flip them off and try to be more aggressive than the person that yelled at me. In general, when it comes to street harassment and me, it's more often comments about my tattoos, which means men are looking at my chest, which is not why I got the tattoo. I got the tattoo for myself. You know, I'm not asking for attention by having a, a tattoo on my chest, but some people might think that. Mm -hmm. You know, I've heard a lot of, like, comments online and things like that and about tattoos and oh if you have tattoos then you're asking to be looked at and that's not the reason why we're getting tattooed we get tattoos because we like them and because we want to decorate our body the thing I think that annoys me the most is that when you try to say that you're angry um, the people who are catcalling you sort of discount it and say that you know that you're being rude or that what you're saying is like being ungrateful, like, oh, I was just trying to say that you were pretty, or like, suck it up, like, ugh. Honestly, I can't really think of one specific time because it's happened often enough that I can't differentiate between the instances anymore. This started all probably when I was like 11, and I've, I don't know, it's been like a constant thing and that I probably have like been desensitized to. I actually have a really funny short story. It's not really that exciting, but um, there was this one time when a girlfriend and I were walking across a parking lot, I can't remember why, but we were, I think, going to the liquor store or something, <laughs> and uh, um, this carload of young men drove up around us, did like a Yui around us, and threw rotten fruit at us, and yelled things, and I don't know what they were yelling, but there was fruit coming at us, and it like smashed on the ground in front of us, and I don't really know what their idea behind that was, or why they were doing it, maybe they were doing that to many people, I don't know, but it was really strange. Like, I've been followed home at night. I've been followed home from the bus stop. There was a guy who would, like, wait at my bus stop every day and, like, try to sell me Ugg boots in his van and, like, follow me home sometimes. I've been, like, videotaped at the park multiple times with friends. I've been, like, yelled at. I've had things thrown at me from car windows. Usually when I think of street harassment, it's something sexual. They yell something nasty at you. And usually, like, they call you, am I allowed to swear? Yeah, yeah, you can. They call you, like, bitch or slut when you won't answer them, right? Yeah. So me and my sisters are walking home one day, and this guy yells at us. He said, I don't know, he said, you guys look pretty, and we kept walking. 
And then he says, like, what? You're not going to smile? I'm trying to be polite. And we keep walking. And then he just yells, maggots, as loud as he can. And we were, I mean, I thought it was hilarious. Like, what, what even is that? Maggots? Seriously? One time I was walking home from school and or I might have, I don't know where I was walking. It was mm -hmm. in high school and I was 16 and I had just gotten my learner's permit. And um, this guy came up to me and like cornered me in this alley and asked me to see ID because he wanted to know if I was 18. And he wouldn't say like why he wanted to know that I was 18, but he just was like, show me ID, show me ID. Um, and I like, I don't know presented my ID after a while because it was just like, what are you doing? Um, and, <laughs> um, sorry, yeah, it was probably the scariest, one of the scarier things because I was being followed and also it was sort of like the assumption was that if I was under 18, then he wouldn't try to assault me. But if I was 18 or older, that he would. And like, luckily I was 16 and I like had just gotten my learner's permit, but that was like probably the scariest time. And it was also like broad daylight, like people around weren't looking like, or probably thought anything was going on or if they did, like didn't know what to say. And that was probably the scariest form of street harassment that I've got. Northampton in general, I feel pretty safe in this city, but there are some places where I would stay away from, at night at least. A few places come to mind that are scary. The bike path and King Street are both really scary to be on alone for more than like a minute or two. Uh, those are definitely the worst two to walk on uh, alone. But also waiting for the bus at night outside of the academy is pretty bad too. I often have to catch the last bus after working and there's almost always drunk people hanging out there and a lot of times they'll try to talk to me. Uh, and th those instances are probably the worst because I feel really uncomfortable and unsafe and I also have to wait there in order to go home. I've heard of a couple of friends of mine who have been harassed on bike paths. I, I've actually had a friend who was beaten up on a bike path, a girlfriend, um, by men. So yeah, don't walk down the bike, bike path by yourself at night in Northampton or anywhere, really. King Street at night seems like a pretty risky place to be alone. It's fine if you're with a friend, but it's kind of, you will get harassed. And if you're by yourself, you probably will be scared and probably will hold your car key like a knife. I'm not really sure the reason why men yell at women on the streets, but usually um, when it happens, they're making a comment about a woman's appearance, and I would assume they're doing it because they think that woman will, will want to talk to them after they yell this comment, um, and that's definitely not the case. Most women are really put off by being yelled at on the street. Honestly, it feels like nothing is going through their mind. It feels like complete mindless activity. I think men who catcall have to be kind of pathetic. I think they don't get any attention in their life anywhere else, so they yell at women on the street just to get a rise out of them, just for a reaction. I, I really do think that it's mindless activity, that it's pretty much just an illustration of how women are seen as objects and an illustration of how men are socialized to dominate those objects. And I guess I feel conflicted when I talk about it because I know that like, there are worse things that happen to people, um, but it definitely is like a constant thing to think about. And every time it happens, I feel like unsafe that, I don't know, if I go somewhere, I might not come back. Mm -hmm.